Hello and welcome to today's reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current union energy going on um, yeah, between, well, within the Twin Flame dynamic. So, um, we'll just go ahead and get started with the cards today. I've been doing some astrology updates in the beginning of um, my readings for the last few days. And, um, yeah, today we'll just go right into the cards. We're going to start with the Divine Masculine, and these are Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield. And then I also have a Notes from the Universe on Abundance card by Mike Dooley. Um, and you might, like, recognize him, you know, if you've ever seen The Secret, for instance, and Law of Attraction uh, stuff. So, this card for Divine Masculine is Love Matters. So, um, yeah, just like putting love first, um, I think that uh, it, just in society and everything, we're not always taught to do that, and um, even times like in trying to decide like who your partner's going to be if you're not really like familiar with the twin flame concept, or even if you do idealize that idea of having, you know, your one true love, your perfect partner and everything. Um, we're not really, like, programmed <clears throat> or taught to, um, aspire to that, but to kind of go for what, like, is, you know, gonna be the best, um, depending on what your values are and what you've been taught, like, you know, hopefully someone that you're gonna be able to be with and that it's normal, um, to not really feel super good in your relationship and um, on some level and you know that can be really something that people push so far off to the side that they don't have to look at it um, but this is just showing that if you're on your twin flame journey um, you know you choose as one with your twin flame so whoever it is that your twin flame is and however close you are with them at this moment um, you know in like your kind of physical uh, space and reality uh, just know that like as you're choosing as the divine feminine or the divine masculine as you're choosing this for love to matter so are they and um, in this instance the divine masculine's leading here so um, you know who again whoever you are watching this like there's some kind of a uh, leadership role with uh, the divine masculine tapping into his heart and um, saying yes to uh, love being a priority like true love and so where other things may have been a priority before or kind of trying to pretend other things were love I think we've all um, tried to do that and failed at some point uh, like or just gotten clearer there even I mean maybe like you know you really you you oftentimes you think that there's something real and this can be in regards to romantic relationships it could also even be in regards to like a career or something else um when you there's a a point at which you realize yeah this isn't serving me and um the truth of kind of what happened there is revealed in some way but the good news about that is it makes more room for again like what really does matter um, so it's going deeper with healing and with releasing past uh, relationships, past kind of even false life purposes. Um, so making room for what's really true. And oftentimes, like what, uh, you know, especially with life purpose, maybe you're doing something that's really similar and it does lead you perfectly to your life purpose. But it's also safe to release the parts of what you've done in the past that, you um, yeah, just, you know, aren't serving you. You don't need to hold on to them. Like, you're going to be given to uh, with all of the things that you've acquired. You never need to hold on to them. They're always, like, being given to you anew uh, when you just surrender them. And that's really what allows, like, the fresh, you know, thoughts, the fresh inspiration to come in. And same thing with your union and with your twin flame. And this is also the Divine Masculine saying, like, hey, like, I choose newness here like i i choose to be renewed in in this union with my divine feminine and like where we are right now 
um, and I choose love now, you know, not in the past and not in the future. So it's really powerful. And uh, yeah, just paying attention to that. So <laughs> we'll move on to the Divine Feminine now. Um, <clears throat> okay, we have new experiences and possibilities. So what this signifies to me is that as the Divine Masculine's kind of, you know, going deeper with this choice, um, of really prioritizing love, uh, which is a great thing to prioritize because there's nothing really <laughs> else, you know, in truth, like, right? To So you just like whatever it is, the energy that's calling you forth, you always want to move towards love and move towards that energy. And that's what truly calls you forth. And sometimes it's a more gentle voice. Um, and it often is. And yet it's also like it's easy it's simple right it's not like some um complicated crazy thing um so it's safe to just like simplify and like go to the core of just like loving yourself and um yeah like allowing your journey to be easy and this uh, helps the divine feminine relax and to have new experiences and possibilities in her reality um, cause yeah, when the Divine Masculine's really choosing this, it's like, it, it makes her feel very safe. Um, of course, you know, she's capable of feeling safe, right? Like, you know, no matter what, but it really helps. Like, of course it really helps, right? It helps like the whole union. And, um, so this is also to me speaking of manifestation and that stage in manifestation where you're allowing yourself to have um, the thoughts and feelings that are uh, tapping deeper into your true desires that you maybe haven't like allowed yourself to have on such a level before where you really can feel that vibrational quality of it and you can just choose it and relax into it and that's what helps you know you attract these things because you're truly feeling you know um, the, you're feeling the reality first of these new experiences and possibilities that you do desire. And maybe you don't know exactly, like, you know, how everything's going to look. Probably not. And, uh, you know, that's, that's not for you to really say or decide, but it is for you to, uh, yeah, like, explore within and to love yourself enough to you know, walk through that door within and like, hey, what's, what's over here? Um, yeah, like, what is it? What is this feeling that feels so good that maybe I haven't fully allowed myself to embrace on this level yet? What is this? What does it look like? Where is it leading me to? Is there a plan here that I would like to kind of get clearer on? And not worrying about, you know, the, you know, like, oh, how am I going to do this or whatever. Um, but first, you know, getting clear on uh, that you want this new experience and possibility. And then having some kind of a plan. And rather than being, you know, like, oh, this can't happen. Well, but can it? You know, like, how could it possibly happen? And then, of course, you can look at, like, you know, the ways that you can... Um, bolster your your plan and help it and nurture it but you always have to kind of be constantly surrendering your plan so that uh, you can receive guidance if there's somehow something you know better for you in store you don't want to hold on to your plan um, because that's control right but it's also safe to be creative and planning can be a very creative process just like you would draft um you know a house before you build it you're not just going to start building that thing probably i don't know if anyone's ever tried to do that but that would be interesting if an architecture uh, project went like that but um but anyway yeah i mean certain things planning is required and it's safe to um to be in that like kind of more beginning to middle phase where you're just like stepping again into that kind of into that new vortex energetically too um and this goes of course for both of you and how this is looking and um, how you're both supporting each other here because as like 
the divine masculine's tapping into this like place of love and the divine feminine's exploring this it feels really good to her and her feeling really good feels really good to him so it's very you know mutually um, beneficial and it always is but it's nice to see it's nice to see how so let's move on to the middle cards and we'll see what this um well let's look at the, let's take a moment here it's really nice pretty card oh it has a rainbow yeah okay um you can dance with the illusions of time and space, choosing your uh, steps. Oh, let's make sure this is more focused. Okay, that's, that's decent. Okay, you can dance with the illusions of time and space, choosing your steps based upon things and events as they now are, or you can dance with your dreams. Choosing your steps based upon things and events as they will be. And I bet you can guess which steps will perpetuate today's illusions and which ones will change everything. Shall we? The universe. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, so I mean, it really speaks to these cards very perfectly. Um, and so it's just about choosing the, um, the plans of your dreams rather than, you know, the plans of... Uh, well, the illusion, you know, and what, what this speaks to the illusion of time and space um, and based on things that now are, well, it's, it's kind of like, it's very limiting to do that because things as they are now is, is what you want to embrace and what you want to love. You want to love the right now, but you also want to realize that you're in a constant state of expansion. And even if things are temporarily like, seem like they're kind of even going in the opposite way if you're truly like choosing love and you're going deeper there um that stuff is being uprooted but you have to keep saying you know yes to love and keep choosing it and take steps in that direction right like you do take action steps and you do take care of yourself but you don't take care of yourself by choosing control and choosing to you know hunker down and stay where you are um because you you know you can't move forward you're afraid to move forward whatever it may be but you also don't force yourself to move forward you you can just choose for it to be easy and um remember you know like what stage these cards are kind of pointing to right now for like that that phase that you're in with that and um yeah so just uh, dance with your dreams. I guess that's really, you know, the message of the card. So I think, you know, that's perfect. Like, look, it looks like what she's doing, really, right? And this card, too, also speaks to that. So let's move on to the last card. And it's make a wish. And it's number one, too. So that, again, to me, speaks to, like, that new newness kind of stepping in uh, just you know just stepping into that new vortex and it's safe to it is safe to make a wish right um and it's safe for things to change but also like you know wishes don't don't just like you know you don't just like kind of make a wish and that's it right it's kind of like praying or anything else you set the intention and you um, you do it with your whole heart, and um, you you move forward in that direction. Like, within, especially, you clear the blocks that are there. So it's safe to make the wish, and it's safe to also fully embrace what it is that you're calling in. Um, one step at a time, right? And again, you're, you're probably going to face things that are going to, you know, need to be uprooted in order for this to come to fruition. And you can see, you know, like a tree growing here and everything and these like sunflowers. So yeah, it's really a time of growth and, um, you know, for things to really grow and start out well, there has to be like fertile soil. So even if things don't look like a lot right now, feel into that where the fertile soil is in your life and, you know, water the seeds and um, just you know, like it's, it's a simple process. Like, uh, I can tell you with planting just a few little things recently, I wasn't up for 
for planting a whole lot, but I just wanted um, I wanted to take care of something consistently while I was um, doing some, you know, really deep inner work um, for, yeah, well, like healing a trauma. Um, and so I had to, I had to take some time to do that. But um, anyway, I was watering these seeds later in the day, and it's pretty hot here near LA. And I thought maybe I was giving them too much water because I've had this problem before, you know, where stuff gets like kind of weird, it's growing for a little while. And I realized I just wasn't fully listening and like, oh, these, you know, these plants want to be watered earlier in the day. They're like, it's okay sometimes, but every day to like make them, you know, <laughs> wait until later in the day and then water them when they're kind of dry and they can't really, and then they're going to have a harder time absorbing stuff. and. Um, so I kind of, I had to just, you know, realize that and humble myself and like, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I'm an herbalist. I love plants. I love using them, but it's also important to develop, you know, the other part of the relationship, which is, um, you know, what do you like? Like, how can I cultivate you? So yeah, like you can ask that to yourself and for these things that you wish to cultivate in your life and recognize how your twin flame is, you know, maybe going to be better at watering the plants and maybe you're going to be better at utilizing the plants um, and, you know, what, what their function is going to be for, just like uh, metaphorically or, you know, maybe really speaking, I'm sure some of you watching are also, you know, into the natural natural remedies and so forth, right? Um, flowers and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And speaking of which, dandelion is, um, you know, a really great, that's a really great thing. And sometimes um, the things that, you know, are weeds to one person are very useful to another. Um, so it's also worth just like checking in with what you're grateful for with what you desire in your life and how you desire it. Because maybe you don't want dandelions growing in your lawn, but maybe you do want dandelion routine. You'd rather go to the store and buy it. It's already roasted. It's much easier, more convenient, and that's okay. But it's nice to recognize, you know, the whole relationship and um, just where things come from and to um, go deeper with, yeah, like your just your relationship with life, really. And, um, you know, maybe one day you will be able to have a little patch of dandelions and have time to make your roasted dandelion root tea if that's really what you desire to do. Oh, but maybe that time would be better spent working on other projects, you know, and then you can still purchase the tea, you know, very easily. And, um, and so people are all going to, like, have their their own things that really they're being called to do that bring, you know, that bring you joy and allow you to cultivate in your life in a way that uh, feels really powerful. So you can kind of tell when you're cultivating something that's um, necessary and that's taking you to the next level when you feel that. You feel that peace and that power and that grace while doing it. Um, even if, you know, it's just something small, like a little seed. Um, or something bigger, like a big responsibility, you know, at your workplace, a big project, or anything like that. Um, having a breakthrough with the client, right? Um, yeah, so just don't be afraid to, like, make that wish. And if you want to just take a moment right now, if you have something in your heart, you know, that you're really, um, that you want to cultivate a desire, and just take a moment there with that and be present with it. Good. Yeah, and this is number one, remember? So again, it's like starting, it's starting out, it's um, the kind of ultimate um, building block of unity, you know, within your union is that core desire. So that's going to con conclude today's reading. Um, subscribe and uh, get notifications if you haven't yet done so um, and you would like to and check out the links below too 
for all of the services that I offer and resources as well. And I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.